Hi guys, it's Tash, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my February favorites. I don't really have that many products to show you, so I wasn't really sure if I was going to do this video or not, but I decided to anyway. I haven't really sat down and found the time to play around with many products or shop around for products, so I just don't have that much to show. I'm gonna show you a couple of products that I have purchased, um, not, not necessarily in February, but throughout the last couple of months that I have been reaching for the most this month, so yeah let's get started so i've got a couple of makeup products a couple of lip products some nail products and also some storage containers as well my birthday i went to ikea and i got a new desk and some alex drawers i know everyone's sick about hearing about the alex drawers but they are so good i think there's a reason every youtube makeup blogger owns them and that's because they are so incredible for storing your makeup they are deep they go really far back and yeah they're just perfect so I managed to pick up some of those with my desk and the desk I got was like the Linman desk I think it's called um, don't quote me on that but it's the big double desk so one side I've got my computer and then the other side I've got kind of my makeup area as well and it's great just having everything in the same place so it just really helps me the out. The first products that I'm going to start off with are these Rimmel Provocalypse. I've got more shades than this I will be doing a lip swatch and review video very soon for you um, I've owned these for a couple of months but these, I pulled these two shades out of the collection in particular because they're the ones that I've reached for the most this month. So this one here is called Skinny Dipping. It looks really, really brown when swatched on my hand, but on my lips, it's actually just a really, it's that perfect kind of light brownish nude color. I've got lipstick stains everywhere all over my hand. I have washed it. <laughs> just doesn't want to come off. But yeah, so that's that. Um, these Provoca lips are fantastic. I won't go too much into detail about these because I am going to have a lip swatch and review uh, video for them. But these lips, uh, these Provoca lips are great. They are just a really beautiful, fully opaque lip stain um, on one side, so it's like a liquid lipstick. And then you get a clear balm on the other side. Um, and if you use a clear balm, it's supposed to lock the color in place. They're kiss proof, they're transfer proof, they last all day, they don't budge, they're absolutely fantastic. And especially this color as well, because it is really hard to get those lighter, like nudish, uh, those light nude shades to stay on your lips. You get a lot of companies claiming to have the long lasting nude shades and I just find that they don't last very long on my lips at all. So I was really impressed with that. The next color from this collection that I've been loving is called Kiss Me You Fall. I wore this on my birthday to my birthday dinner and this just did not budge. It stayed perfect all night. I didn't have to reapply it or anything like that. Like this stuff does not move. Saying that, they can be quite difficult to remove. So I would definitely recommend an oil-based makeup remover or even if you want to go in hardcore, just olive oil because these are quite hard to remove and they will leave a stain on your lips. The next lip product is one that I'm wearing right now. Oh my goodness, it's gone so dark. The next lip product is, yeah, the one that I'm wearing now and that is called um, Ravishing Rose and I love this colour so much. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. This is from the Maybelline Colour Sensational and it's from the Rebel Bloom collection. I, again, I will have a review and lip swatch video coming up for this collection. It might already be up. If it is, I'll link it down below. This is just a beautiful bright red colour. It's a lot more, sh it's not as opaque as the usual Colour Sensational lipsticks. What have I got of theirs? Pleasure Me Red. That's much more opaque than this, but this is such a pretty colour. It's not as long lasting as Pleasure Me Red, but it's great for those people who maybe want to try red lipstick but are a bit scared to go full on opaque. And if you're looking for a way to wear a red lipstick in the day maybe, I think this is a great one to go for because it's just that bit more sheerer. Sheer, sheer, sheerer? You know what I mean. Yeah. It's, um, it's more of a sheer formula, so yeah. <laughs> Next product, again, I will have a review up or may already have a review up of this and it's the uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. Awesome product, gives you that great false lash effect, really vol volumizes and lifts those lashes. So it has a plasticky silicone brush and then the shorter bristles on the brush are supposed to be the ones that get right into the roots of your lashes and then you apply the rest of the product with the longer bristles as you get to the end of your lashes as well. This works brilliantly. I wouldn't say it's completely uh, clump proof. I get, I get to about two coats and I'd say that's enough um, before it starts to look a little bit clumpy. But then again, I don't really feel like I need any more than two coats. I have quite, I have quite a lot of lashes anyway and they are quite long so yeah, two coats is enough for me. All in all, a great mascara, absolutely brilliant. I love it. 
Next products I have pulled out already um, because I love the warm weather, I love spring and summer and I obviously cannot wait <laughs> until it gets here. So um, yeah, I, I've been pulling these out and these are the Barry M nail paints. Some of them are the Jelly High Shine and some of them are just the regular nail paints. They are all brilliant, let me just show you them. So this one is called uh, Strawberry Ice Cream. This is the regular nail paint and that's what that one looks like there. It's just that great beautiful candy pink colour. I have this one called Prickly Pear, just a really beautiful pastel candy purple colour. Then on my middle, middle finger here, I don't really want to swear at you so I'll just hold it up, but that's, um, yeah, I've got mint green here. Oh and the purple colour was from the Jelly High Shine collection. This mint green again is just a regular nail paint. Then again from the Jelly High Shine collection, I've just got this powder blue type colour. I think it's coming off darker on camera because of my lighting, but it's just stunning. And then this awesome peachy coral colour from the Jelly High Shine collection is called Papaya, and that's on my little finger there. All in all, these are great nail polishes. I love Barry Ann nail paints. They are long lasting. I've worn these for about four days and none of them um, none of them have chips. I am wearing the OPI chip resistant top coat. I am not, can't quite remember what it's called off the top of my head. But even with wearing that top coat, some nail polishes don't last as long as these. And they are super cheap, pretty much always on offer for a three for two. So yeah, I highly recommend these, especially the Jelly High Shines. They are brilliant and they have such a huge collection of colours so they'll be something for everybody. The next product I purchased with um, the money I got from my mum for my birthday and this is Victor and Rolf Bonbon perfume. Oh, I love this stuff. For some reason I'm such a perfume head. As soon as I go in and try perfume and I smell something I like, I have to repeatedly find an excuse to go to the shop to go and smell it and to spray it on myself until I buy it because I just become so obsessed with it. I'm so weird about perfume. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I got, which is the Victor and Rolf Bonbon. How cute is that bottle? So from what the perfume shop says, this is supposed to smell kind of peachy, mandarin slices, orange slices and caramel. I definitely get the peach and caramel and the mandarin and quite a hefty dose of vanilla as well. So it is quite a fruity fragrance, but it is almost like, I guess, bordering on the more gourmand fragrance as well, because it really, I never know if I pronounce that right, gourmand, gourmand, gourmand. Anyway, it, it smells completely edible as well. And again, like I always say, if you don't really like overly sweet slash foody type smell perfumes, possibly not going to be for you, but if that is your thing, then definitely go and check out Victor and Rolf Bonbon. So the last two products are actually storage containers. I got these on my birthday. One I got from Ikea and one I got from Muji. So the storage container I got from Ikea is this. It's pretty huge. This actually fits really well in my bottom Alex drawer. And that's just this really cool, huge plastic container here. So here, just rest it on my shoulder. <laughs> Don't know how quite how to show this. But here you actually have a place for your brushes, so you can have your brushes stand in there. So I've just got some of my Real Techniques and Sigma, Sigma brushes standing in there. I've got like an eye cream standing in there. And then this section actually lifts up and then you have more storage. If I take it out, you can see you have more storage in the bottom there. The back here, it's got some lipstick holders. So I've got a lot of my Maybelline and my NYX lipsticks in there. And then it's got two bigger compartments here. So I kind of stack my um, Real Techniques brushes in there as well. And then in this section, I've got all my little palettes like the Urban Decay flush palettes, naked palettes, uh, sleep palettes as well. So yeah, this is, I think this is 15.99. It's just a really, really handy storage container to have. It just fits perfectly in those deeper Alex drawers towards the bottom. My next favorite are these little containers here from Muji. I went to the Muji shop in Birmingham and purchased these. I think these were about £1.97. They were under £2 anyway. So these are great for holding any face products. So in here I keep my highlighters, face powders, setting powders, some blushes. Th this container basically fits anything that's the size of, say, your Mineralize Skin Finish or your MAC Studio Fix. And these are just great containers for under £2 and they're fantastic for keeping all your face products organised as well. So there you go guys, that was my monthly favourites. Nice and short and sweet. Comment me below, let me know what you guys have been loving this last month and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye!